Hi everyone, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, another application for our uh, 400 farad 5.4 volt capacitor bank with unvolt 1.5 amp charger uh, and display. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the uh, 12 volt 2 amp charger and I'm going to plug it in. I've already pre-charged it to about 5 volts and I'm going to just going to make sure that this display that's the input voltage as soon as I press the charge button it goes to the capacitor charge which is 4.9 volts when that goes to 5 volts I'm going to stop this and I'm going to put this into a 1.5 volt to 5 volt booster and I'm going to feed it into my cell phone and just to prove that it works I'm going to sh show you that it's charging and we're going to kind of have a look at the dissipation across the uh, uh, the booster that we're going to interface with this the booster is just a, a cheap inexpensive uh, Chinese 1.5 volt to 5 volt booster. You can have uh, up to 5 volts of the input, and the output should stable at around 5 volts unless overloaded. Now the phone, I think, takes between uh, 1.5 or 5 500 milliamps to an amp when charging, and I think the booster is capable of just over an amp uh, boost. But I imagine that the power on the caps will deplete kind of quickly. We'll have to see in just a minute. Anyhow, I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to start it again when this reaches 5. 5 volts. Oh, okay, there we go. What I've done here is I've uh, taken a micro USB connector and I've connected it to a <coughs> USB booster. Uh, the, the input leads are right here, the output leads are connected here, which will go to my phone. And uh, I've got the negative lead, which will go to my, the negative on my capacitor bank, and the positive to the capacitor bank has a switch on it that I've put it in. So I'm going to, to tie these to the output terminals and then I'm going to switch the power on and we're going to see if it boosts and charges the phone. So as soon as I turn the switch on, I'm going to uh, take the charge on my capacitor bank, place it through the 1.5 volt to 5 volt booster. I've got about 5 volts, so what will happen is it will boost to 5 volts uh, with 5 volts of the input, but it will also boost to 5 volts uh, as the capacitors, the voltage on the capacitors drain down to less than 1.5 uh, volts. It will still boost, so this can, should continue to charge. So just as an initial test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the switch, and I'm going to, well, first of all, I'll zoom in on this icon to show you that it actually does charge. Hopefully you can see the charge icon. It'll take a second. I flip the switch, and the charge icon is there. Hopefully you can see it. It's very small. It's a little lightning bolt uh, symbol on the battery. So now what I'll do is I will break out my digital multimeter, and we'll look at the uh, output boost, and we'll look at the, capa the uh, capacitor bank voltage uh, and at what rate it's dropping. I'm going to check the output voltage the boost voltage I imagine it to be about 4.5 to 5 volts oh. 4.6 volts so that's the voltage reaching the phone now I'm going to put the capacitor or the uh, leads of the multimeter at the output of the capacitor bank so that's the input voltage as you can see it's dropping at about 10 millivolts every two seconds. So based on five volts of the input, I'd say we'd have at least a half an hour's worth of charge. <coughs> and so this, and I've tested this booster out. It actually seems to work to boost reasonably well down to less than a volt. It's rated for 1.5 volts, uh, but again. The output will boost as long as the input voltage is at minimum, or uh, one volt. So if you need an emergency uh, emergency phone call, this would uh, be a nice thing to have in the back of your car, because since the new capacitors and the circuitry on the, boost, on the, on the uh, charger is designed to take care of the capacitors, um, they should last a very, very, very long time. And as with all supercapacitors, uh, once charged, they lose about 10% of their uh, charge due to leakage currents and stabilize after about 10%. I'd say within about 24 hours, 10 15%. So you can leave them in the closet, charge it up, leave it in the back of your car for months, and it will lose, you know, it will only lose 15 to 20% over a very long time. It will be more than enough 
uh, even a year after you charge them, to power this booster for <coughs> 15 minutes to a half an hour. So it's kind of just a nice thing. Now again, the circuitry is very easy. This module can be purchased at engineeringshock.com. Uh, you, all you need is a switch, one of these little uh, boosters. They come from China. They cost next to nothing. Uh, I just happened to have one around and wanted to make an application video. And... Uh, and a micro USB connector, or whatever connector your phone has. Uh, mini USB, micro USB. Uh, I know that the iPhones have some new connectors. So, yeah, just a fun little video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Visit us at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com.